How to integrate Shopify with WordPress. Hello, welcome to our channel, WebWiz, and in this tutorial, I will teach you how to integrate your Shopify account to your WordPress. So please watch till the end of the video to properly understand the tutorial. And if you guys are wondering, you can check out the Shopify website using the link down there in the video description below. And without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, I already opened my Shopify account and also my wordpress account on the other tab so if you don't know there is an option where you can connect your shopify to your wordpress so that when you you know have an update to your shopify or for example you create another product to your shopify it will reflect to your wordpress and there's so many ways to do it but i will say it this once this is a paid one so you need to uh, have a subscription to wordpress in order to do this so for example i'm just going to go to my shopify uh application so i'm just going to search press and as you can see if i click enter there's a, there's a lot of apps that you can use where you can you know somehow uh connect your wordpress to shopify so as you can see you can use uh your drag and drop drag and drop page editor for all page types including blogs products collection homepage and landing page and you know you can use save any creation as a snippet and reuse it for future design so as you can see this some apps are you know alternatives <laughs> it's either uh you connect your wordpress to shopify or yeah that's it so it's not the shopify will integrate your wordpress it's the wordpress will integrate your shopify so it's wrong so there's actually no uh um methods for or applications for the shopify to be integrated to your wordpress in shopify but there's a method in wordpress it's called plugins so you if you are using wordpress you guys know what plugins do and as you can see you need to pay for a higher subscription in order to have a plugin so for example we have a buy button channel in shopify and as you can see it creates a buy button for any other websites but yeah it's not uh it's not totally integrating shopify to any website so we don't do that so one way we can do uh we can integrate shopify to wordpress is by going of course to your wordpress and right here on the options just click plugins and as you can see yeah as i said earlier you need to upgrade to a business uh plan uh account and yeah it's quite um, it's quite uh, expensive for some people and yeah you need to upgrade for a higher account so this is this is and in the philippines this is a uh, eleven thousands so it's much like uh Mm, two hundred dollars per month or per i per year two hundred dollars per year so yeah it's, it's quite it's quite uh expensive for some people so if you guys if you check for example you do have a business uh, account premium account in wordpress you can actually use the plugins right now so as you can see if i go back to uh plugin dashboards i can search uh plugins different plugins and right there on the search bar just click shopify or type shopify <laughs> okay let's type shopify and click enter and as you can see there's a lot lot of plugins but i recommend you to use the wp shopify and as you can see it displays products from your shopify store on your wordpress blog using short code so don't worry the codes is easy to master and also they have a tutorial for that and right there as you can see this is the most easiest way to you know integrate shopify to your wordpress because it is a plugins and yeah it's actually uh, equal to the application on shopify so it's easy to use and very flexible and yeah it's actually uh very trustful to use so yeah that's the only catch you need to pay for a uh, higher account so there's actually another method to do this one so we don't need to use the plugins but we're gonna use uh you know certain application or platform so it's called sapier so let's just search on google sapier click the first uh website 
you can see so save your official website so as you can see it connects all your apps and automate your work so with just that and you can just visualize what it does so in this website you can you know integrate your shopify more uh how can i say this more perfectly or more more properly because you know the wp shopify only show the products i say as you see earlier in the plugins description it can only shows the products on your shopify and you can reflect it in your wordpress blogs but here in safe here you can add a map you can manually add the uh the function or the uh activity that you will want to uh happen when you integrate your shopify to your wordpress so as you can see i logged in with an account with my google account and as you can see right there in your dashboard you can actually make a, another a sap right there away and it also provides a 14 days to try save your paid features and after that 14 days you need to buy for a 50 us dollars per month for the premium features so for example i'm just going to make a zap right away so connect this page so i'm just going to click to search shopify or type shopify and with this uh one so i'm just going to add wordpress so i'm just going to connect shopify to my wordpress so as you can see another uh, option will pop up when this happens so as you can see i can choose a certain activity from uh, shopify so for example new product for example i'm just going to click new product so when a new product appears the wordpress will do this for example i'm just going to click create post so what it means that when we when we have a new product in shopify the wordpress will create a post in my blog so you see what i mean so this save your application will uh you know create more accurate uh, activities or actions to on integrating your shopify to wordpress so as you can see if i click next it's that you will need to you know uh do these steps in order to complete the activity so first you will need to complete the information on the trigger so on the trigger you will need to create a post in your wordpress when new product in shopify so just click that and click all these steps as you can see the app and event are now checked but the account is you know there's a, a warning button the black warning button so it means that uh, it's not completed so this app and event is now completed and the account is you know still needs some information so what you can do is of course you need to connect your shopify that's it so just click sign in and wait for it to finish loading and if you can see you need to you will need to provide your shopify address so enter your shopify username even if you use custom domain and right there so we just need to i'm just going to go back to my shopify and find my user username so i'm just going to search link domain on the search bar as you can see oh wait let's just yeah okay search it again link domain and as you can see right there it will redirect me to the settings and as you can see on the top top left corner right there below the below your store your name store on the top right you will see a code or a numbers right here that is actually your username so as you can see i'm just going to copy it and then paste it right here okay wait i didn't copy it Okay, let's just copy this one go back to save here then paste it right here then yes continue to shopify then after that let's just wait okay as you can see it will now redirect me to this one where i can you know install the applications to connect my shopify store to the savior so we just need to agree to the terms and condition and after you read all of this just click install app on the bottom and right now just wait and that's it your shopify is now connected so the trigger is completed so if you click continue so click the trigger so test trigger so we'll find the recent new product in your shopify to compare your trigger setup so as you can see you'll need to have a product 
So if you don't have a product, you need to add a new one. So for example, right here, I already have a product. So let's just add a another product. For example, I'm just going to add a short, <laughs> oh, short Nike. And for example, I'm just going to add a picture. So let's just find a picture, random picture of Nike shorts. <laughs> For example, only. So this is my product. Oh, okay. Let's go back. Let's just save this one. Okay, let's save this. Okay, what's okay? This one. Okay, let's save this one. Right here. Then click save. Then go back to it. I'm going to upload my picture. Search short. Okay. Right here. Open. And that's it. You can add a price if you want. I'm going to add a price. Then I'm just going to click save. Then as you can see, I already have a product. So now I'm just going to go back to uh, save here. As you can see, this is all of my products. Go back to save here. That's the trigger. And as you can see, it will start finding my products. So right here, I already have a new product. So after that, it detects my new product. So after you're done with that, just click continue. And as you can see, the trigger is now completed. So uh, the only thing left to accomplish is the wordpress action so that is if i click continue will now i need to connect my wordpress so the app and events are again already done so i just need to connect my wordpress so this is actually an interesting one so as you can see after it start it's finished loading as you can see it will you will need to of course provide your wordpress account your username and also your password and also your base URL. So as you can see, I already input all of my information. You can you can find this all in your WordPress, or you can just search it how to you know find this one. So this is my base URL. This is my username or my email. So as you can see, I'm just going to add HTTP because the requirement says you need to put this one HTTP. Okay, now it's done. So let's go click yes. As you can see, if I click yes, yeah, that's it. We hit an error adding your new account because your WordPress account doesn't have a plugin, a Zapier WordPress plugin installed in the site. So yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You need to, you still need to, you know, uh, buy a premium account and install the Zapier WordPress as a plugin because you'll need to have a business. Uh, business account or business plan premium account in order to install plugins so yeah that's it you really need to purchase a higher or premium account in order to do this method or in order to integrate your shopify to your wordpress and yeah that's it after you done all of this you create the uh, action and you finish also the trigger and action and that's it it will you know automatically work as for your setup and that's it that's how you integrate shopify to your wordpress and also that's it for this tutorial i hope you learned something from this video see you in the next one bye